Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be checking out an Alta AC Repair Complete Toolkit. So this basically includes the vacuum pump, the manifold with the hoses and all the accessories that you need to work on an air conditioning on a vehicle. So this is made by a company called Cozy Vacuum. Strange name, but hopefully a good product. So let's open it up and see what is included. Alright, so it looks like we have boxes in a box. So this is our manifold gauge set with all the other things like hoses and connectors. And this is the vacuum pump. And it's very heavy actually. Alright, so far so good. Very well packed. Go ahead and go straight for the vacuum pump here. There is a little user guide. And of course we have to have oil. So that's great that that's included. And the pump itself. And a plastic bag, so we got a decent amount of power cord here. So this is metal, metal, plastic, metal, metal. Bottom here is plastic. We got dual connections here. Very cool. Not sure exactly what this cover's for. I think okay, it's for the oil. So this is the oil cover. And this is where we're gonna put our oil in. Alright, cool, and there is a power switch right over here and some venting back here let's go ahead and open this manifold gauge set so it looks like we have a bag in here all right so the bag is actually quite large i guess it's made to house all of the accessories and parts in here looks like a pretty nice quality bag got some pockets on the side and a little zip pocket here in the front okay so it looks like maybe we can actually fit the pump in here also because it does spread out. The vacuum pump fits in here also. Oh, okay, that's super cool. So you can fit all your stuff technically in here. All right, so let's see what we got. So we have the user guide for the manifold gauge set. So most importantly here, the gauges themselves and the manifold part, which is this metal piece right here. These knobs are actually rubber, feels pretty good. There's rubber protection around the gauges here. So this is all plastic. This is metal here, it looks like aluminum. And it looks like we have brass fittings everywhere and connectors. And then you got a little hook up there. So the two fittings here on the side are just dummy fittings, meaning they don't do anything. You just clip stuff away on them. And then these are the three that do something. And it looks like we do have a little T here that splits into two. So that could be useful if you do multiple things, I guess. So over here we have the air conditioning connectors to the low and high side. So this is the low side, which is the, I guess, blue color here. And then the red color is the high side. All right, so that's that. So we also get a little bonus can tab. So if you use cans to refill, this would be very useful because you have a little adapter. So you screw your can into here and then you connect this, you know, to here. And last but not least, we have the hoses themselves. And there's three hoses, three different colors, red, blue, and yellow. And they're not crazy long, but should be plenty long for what you need it for. And they seem to be the connectors are both the same on each side, so. All right, so let's put some oil into that pump and uh, hook everything up. All right, so to put oil in here, we're just gonna unscrew this fill cap here. Let's go straight in there. Here we have a little sight. And it does say maximum and minimum on there. And on the bottom is the drain, which if you want to change the oil, if you use this a lot, this is where you will drain that. So it looks like the oil brand is from the company. Pretty much it. So we're going to fill it about halfway between the minimum and the maximum. And that should be good. And we'll see how much of this will fit in there. All right, so I got excited and put a little more than we need to, so I kind of put it on max. That's all right. I think it'll be fine. So then we're just going to put this cap back on. This cap does breathe, by the way, so I think if you turn the compressor upside down, it might spill some oil, I'm not sure. All right, so we just have, so we have just a little bit of oil left. So connecting the hoses to this manifold here is super simple. You know, your red hose will obviously go on red here, your blue hose will go on blue, and your yellow hose will go right here in the middle. So yellow ho hose is the, you know, either the vacuum or the charge. The blue hose is to the low side, I think, and the red hose here is to the high side. And you don't really need to tighten this up super hard. I mean, they're actually made where you just hand tighten them and they should seal really good. So I actually realized that the hoses have two different ends. One end has like this little piece that kind of protrudes in there 
that I guess could push a needle. Maybe that's what it's for. And the other one is just open like that. So I think the open side goes to the manifold. All right, so just like that, color to color, the yellow goes in the middle. So I just hand tighten it and I think that's enough. So on the other end, pretty simple. You're gonna put the red to the red and then the blue to the blue. And we should be ready to go. So this part here, we're gonna actually connect to the vacuum pump. And then we're gonna use this car here to pull a vacuum on it and see if we have any leaks. And so we're gonna grab our manifold and we're gonna hang it right here on the hood. So on this vehicle, the high port is right here and the low port is kind of hard to see it, but it's right there. We're just gonna unscrew the little caps. So your high is gonna be a larger diameter and your low is gonna be a smaller diameter. And so to put it on, you just simply pull on this spring-loaded clamp here. You go into it and then you let it go and you should be able to connect. But before you do any kind of connecting, make sure your valves are all the way closed. That way, you know, your Freon's not going to be coming out. My system is completely empty because I changed the condenser in it, so then it won't matter. But in most cases, you wanna keep these shut unless you're actually doing something. So the low side is on. It's kinda hard to show you. Let me just show you here on the high side. So you just pull on it as you're going down. And just like that, it clips right on. So it looks like I do have some pressure in there. All right, so now that we got these two connected, so let's go ahead and unscrew one of these caps here. And then we're gonna take our yellow hose that comes from here and connect it to the compressor. All right, so that looks good. So on the gauges here, you can see that we are at zeros. We start drawing vacuum, this is gonna go into the negative. So you can see that negative 30, it's just a small amount, but you know, it should get close to negative 30 or somewhere around there, so. But in any case, what we want to do is turn on the vacuum pump and let it vacuum the system for maybe about 30 minutes or so. So the longer you had your AC open to the environment, the longer you should probably pump the vacuum to get all the moisture out of the system. And after we're done pumping it, we're gonna do the leak test so we can see, make sure that we don't have any leaks in the system. All right, so let's go ahead and turn the pump on. All right, so that sounds good. It seems like it's running. But well, you can see here, the gauges still haven't moved. And the reason why is because our valves are closed. So let's go ahead and open the high. And you can see that needle's moving. And go ahead and open the low. And there it goes. Pulling a 30. So yeah, so now we just need to leave it like that for a little while. All right guys, so it's been about 30 minutes and yeah, so we've been pumping for a while. So let's go ahead and shut these valves off, tighten them up real good. And so now we can turn off the compressor or the vacuum pump, should be able to hold that pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And our needles are sitting actually a little below the 30, so we're right at it. In any case, so just need to remember where they are right there and then I'm gonna leave it like this for about an hour and we'll see if those needles drop any. If they do drop, that means there's a leak somewhere in the system. And if they don't drop, we should be fine. And so after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this yellow hose here to charge the system up with Freon. And the vacuum that's in the system is gonna help draw the Freon in in the beginning. All right guys, so it's been about an hour and the gauges have not moved even a tiny bit. So they're exactly where they were an hour ago. So it looks like we have a good sealed system. So we can go ahead and charge it with some Freon. So we need to take this yellow hose off of the pump here. We can go ahead and remove this compressor from here. I keep calling it a compressor, but it's a vacuum. And so if you're gonna use cans like I am, you're gonna need to use this adapter that was included with the kit. And so it's quite simple how this thing works. There's a needle inside, so if you run it all the way down, it'll poke a hole through this can. And then as you run it the other way, it'll release the Freon. And then it'll go through this coupling here that will connect to the yellow hose that will essentially go into the system through the blue hose, which is the low pressure side, and that's where you wanna fill it. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this, and then we'll screw the bottle underneath in here. All right, so I got the hose connected to the fitting, and then I got it screwed onto the bottle. So we will need to crank the vehicle, obviously, and turn on the AC on high. Before doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and puncture this thing to release the Freon that's in there. All right, so I just ran this down and then back up and it is released right now. So if I start unscrewing this knob here, it'll go into the system. And we can go ahead and see it here for a second. There you go, you see that? So it's actually going in. 
even though we still have negative pressure because that's how much the whole system is. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank the vehicle and then we'll release this and we'll watch these gauges. All right, and we're gonna start releasing it into the system. So now it's going in. It's, sometimes it helps holding this upside down because it goes in there a lot better and maybe even shaking it. So it looks like the compressor just turned on. I heard it. I can kind of see something in that sight right there. But there's one here also, you can kind of see there's some liquid in there. Seems like it's operating, but I'm not sure if it's working right or not. But let's go ahead and keep releasing it. All right, so it's finally starting to fall. So I think it's starting to work now. Well, now it's going back up. I don't know, there's maybe something wrong with the system. Something doesn't feel right about this whole thing. Because this should be a lot lower than that one, but they're all equalized. I might have a different problem with this vehicle. Because this pressure won't drop. There it goes, it's dropping now. So it's accepting it now, and then it jumps right back up. So I guess maybe I should just wait. It'll start working. But I can still feel that there's plenty of Freon in this thing. It's still kind of full. All right guys, so nothing really changed. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to figure out what exactly is going on when with this car, it's kind of crazy, so. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about this kit. And as you can see, it's a really nice one. And it seems to work great in reading the pressures and there's no leaks or anything. And I hand tighten all these fittings. So we're gonna close the valves. I'm gonna disconnect the lobe. So the cool part is, is when you're storing this away to keep the connectors clean, on each side there's a little mounting tab like that it goes on just like that. And same thing for the high pressure side. But for the yellow hose, there's really no place to go. You could unscrew this piece and then put the yellow hose on there and then just throw this in the bag. In any case, something like this, I guess. So we actually still have some pressure left inside this system here because we closed these valves so we can release that. And there they go. So pretty cool. And so when you're done with it, you can put it all in this bag, including the vacuum pump too. So it's a really nice kit and the price is great on it. So if you guys are interested in this kit here, I'm gonna leave some links in the description, check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this and other things I do on this channel and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button to see more. All right, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.